Hello and welcome to my studio in rural Herefordshire. I've picked a few seasonal gems which I'm going to put into a design which I am hoping will inspire you. First of all I want to show you my container and to explain what I've done with it. Uh, this is a lampshade which I've burned the outer covering off and then I've mossed the framework and added in some living plant material. These are the echeverias in different colours and some sedums down at the bottom here, some birch cones, some little bits of driftwood and some of these rather lovely little leaves which are cut from birch bark. Now with this design I've uh, added in some glass files which you can probably see I've tied them in with ribbon with the advantage that when you want to take them off they're easily removed so that you can wash them before putting fresh water in. I thought it would be rather fun if we turned this design into a living lampshade. So I've got a glass candlestick here and it's got a little space up in the top where I can add this centre of the lampshade down in to hold it securely. Just need to make sure that that's level. And then I'm going to add around some moss up into the top of there just to hide my mechanics where the framework touches the glass candlestick. This moss is quite damp, which is quite useful because as um, it's damp, it can supply a little bit of moisture to some more echeverias, which have got roots on, but I'm going to add them up into the top of the design. This is rather nice adding them up here because you can look through the framework of the lampshade and it gives it a lot of depth to look into, making it much more interesting. I'm just going to pop four just around the outside. And then I'm going to add in some more of the birch leaves, which are cut from the birch bark, so that I have a link up in into the centre with the little leaves, which I've added up into the top of the lampshade. There you can see. So now I'm going to add in some flowers and first of all um, I'm going to put some of these beautiful eucra leaves in. These are actually really good at the moment. They've toughened up a tiny little bit so it makes them nice to use because they condition well. These are rather nice in here because it gives it a depth of colour which is lovely. They last quite a long time in water. I'm going to pop in some uh, bluebells, which are just coming into the garden now. I'm going to pop those down into there with the eucra leaves, just to give me a little grouping. Now this design is lovely because you can actually um, change the flowers in here to suit your seasons. So as we move along through the summer, it could be with summer flowers, and then as we go into Christmas at time, it could be with holly and red flowers and lights so that it matches uh, the season. I'm going to pop in some of this beautiful apple blossom. This is the Red Love apple blossom. This apple produces a fruit which has got a lovely rich red flesh, which I like using in the autumn to make some beautiful jellies and preserves with. And then I'm going to pop in, along with the bluebells, just a few little um, pieces of the Montana Clematis. This will give this a nice perfume, but it will also give it just a tiny bit more impact there uh, on that edge of the design. So that's rather lovely for the perfume, as I say. So keeping it quite simple and which makes it uh, easy and if you don't have very many materials in your own garden you can just pick a few choice ones like I have done here. I've got a bulb here which I think suits the design. This is a, a Christmas decoration but it will sit down into the centre of there and act as a light bulb so that my living lampshade does look like it's got a light. 
And there we go. Uh, I'm hoping that that will have inspired you possibly to have a go to live in lampshade yourselves. Uh, it's, it's quite a nice, fun thing to do. And especially if you have a limit on plant materials at this time. Thank you for joining me.